Well, the Sunlink Gallery downstairs, where her work will be, is the first space that you you enter when you encounter Turner Contemporary. And the ambition for that space is really to get people immersed in Turner Contemporary and in an artistic experience as soon as they come in. We were thinking about uh, uh, this idea of really having the population of Margate helping me to do the, the installation. This is the third session of Maria Napoleseno's studio group workshops and what we've done is invited local artists and makers to get involved in creating part of Maria's work. So what they're doing right now is sewing ropes um, into sculptural forms. Many of those ropes have actually been donated by members of the community. I'm an artist uh, living in Margate. Um, I've got a studio just down the road. I've not seen her actual work before, only pictures, so it was really nice to come and, um, and see how they're made and be part of the piece and watch it grow. My work is uh, sculpture. I like very much this characteristic of the work, of uh, to be a, a really handmade work, uh, because uh, I think it's uh, more than anything, uh, the work is about time and also about affection. In Brazil we have a lot of this, this culture of, of touching people and this is a way of, of showing affection. People touching the work and, and giving the, their time to the work, uh, it's also a, a, a way of giving affection to the work with their hands. So I'm here capturing all this energy, all this affection and all this time. Yeah, it's a joining of two tubes, Oops, becoming one, so it's like two months, becoming one. I think it's quite nice to give people some sense of ownership, so they can come along to the gallery, bring their children, significant others, and say, I did that. And that's, that's a buzz. The next step is to put everything together. It's really to connect uh, all these this pieces that people are now working individually. And, uh, but I don't know yet exactly how it will look. Uh, I have to, to think a little bit more and to see how people uh, develop. It's such an interesting process, I think, and it's, it's work being made in situ as opposed to just taking something out of a crate and putting it in space or putting it on the wall. You know, so it's wonderful for our audience to actually watch the work, you know, people with needles and thread and scissors and, um, you know, building up little landscapes, something they never get to witness, really. The title of this installation is Time to Breath. Tempo para respirar in Portuguese. I have uh, four materials that are very strong in my work. Uh, they have many symbolic uh, meanings, uh, metaphoric relations uh, with body, uh, ceramic as uh, flesh, the braided straw as, as skin, the ropes as umbilical cords, and the beads as cellulose. It's really uh, an invention of uh, uh, nature. It's an invention of uh, imaginary nature. The sound is being introduced into this piece for the first time, so she decided that she wanted to add that element to create, um, to add this sense of a kind of otherworldliness of an animated landscape. I particularly love the sounds of the Indians and all the voices and the breathing and that stuff. Uh, people, they're gonna go closer to it. What I expect uh, people is really to go inside the work, to have a tactile relationship with the, the work, with the materials, have some time to, to think about uh, life, work, nature. Are we on schedule? Is it all looking good? Yes. It has to be done in time. It has to be, yes. <laughs>
uh, here with the studio group and uh, I already left some uh, ideas of the way it will grow but uh, uh, at the same time I want the, uh, the ideas also, the participation, so it's really a collaboration. It's an amazing group, amazing team we, we created here uh, with very committed people, very enthusiastic and uh, really so excited to, to be part of a, a project like this. Uh, I'm very happy with the, the team we have here.